mention of what my Jew used to say, that whether he's joking or he's serious, we take his word seriously. Jesus, yes. praise the Lord. So it um, happened that I'm actually I'm a free, freelancer. I work on my own on my own time. So it happened that Jesus used to make you no know, every every staff used to say those that are outside employment receive a job. So I had this feeling like that whenever he's making that declaration, if I don't want a job, I shouldn't say amen. So whenever he's saying that declaration, I don't say amen. So it happened two Thursdays ago. I got carried away when, after the, during his prayers, after service. So I said amen to that. So once we just said, ah, you said amen, prepare, you are going to get a job. So I'm like, nah, I'm not going to apply. So that's not going to happen. So as God will have it, the day before yesterday, an HR called me. I was like, are you Michael Lisa? I said, yes. She said, you want to come and work with us? I was like, no, I don't do full time anymore. I'm a freelancer. She said, yes. That even though, it's, I know, even though that it was outside the company policy, they don't hire freelancers, but they want me to come and work for them freelancing. She just said, how much do you want? I just said my price. She didn't even bag in. She just said, congratulations, you are resuming 1st of June. Just like that. Hey, hey, hey. Another level, another level, another level. We are going on. Another level, another level, another level. We are going on. In righteousness. In evangelism, in holiness, in purity, in acquire blessings, in blessings of oh. level, 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 in confirming the word, the word of man of God, level, 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 level. Level, 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 level. Amen. Wow. Without application. Without application, sir. Like, even with, with the price I called for the salary, I was hoping that maybe that would, like, scare them off. We didn't. She just said, congratulations. Uh -uh. I, like, she just said, send your CV. Let me send you your offer letter. Let's make it official. Wow. Yes, I, so, I was surprised. Yesterday, I saw the offer letter. The like, next day? Yes. Yesterday, I saw Shall the Shall we clap letter. unto God and appreciate him? Thank you, Father. So, for my general overseer and all the chosen ones worldwide and my family, I wish everyone heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Which day particularly did you hear this word of knowledge? Um, the, pro, the service before that pharaoh was, the Thursday before that, the, the week of, the week before the, the pharaoh must die, that pharaoh must die. Yeah, okay. Thursday before the that's, Thursday of the pharaoh. That's about uh, two, two or three ago. Thursdays ago. Yes, sir. That was the day Gio said, you that you are looking for a job. Just, how, how did he say it? He said, you that is outside employment, I give you one week to get your employment. I was like, ah. And it seems, I was, I was kind of, when I said that amen, I said, it's not going to happen. So I was like, <laughs> I'm not going to apply. Wow. Get, so I was surprised in my house, the phone call just came. I was like, are you Michael Easy? I just said, yes. just said, okay, we need you to come and work for us. I was like, ah, from where? Like, I, so she said, how, I thought I'm not doing, um, doing full-time because I left a job of full-time because I didn't have that, that stress of entering Lagos traffic, and I always wanted to be coming to Thursday service. I want to have time for God and everything. It was wow. affect, the full-time was affecting my prayer life. So I just resigned. I was like, no, I was not going to. She just said, no, that you're not working just... We don't hire freelancers, but we want you to hmm. come and work freelance for us. You can work that from your house you anytime. From your house, and yes. you will come to the office anytime you like. Yes. Is that she, what it means? 
I don't even need to come to the office. They just tell me what the, the project manager that gave me the job description was like, your work is just to meet deadlines. I don't know how you, where you, wherever you want to work. You can work anywhere in the world. Just, just work, deliver, hey, give, hey. Me, give me Clap my Clap your project. hands unto God of the chosen. This God is so good. He's so sweet to be a chosen. Amen. Amen. Has he concluded his testimony? Yes. Yes. It is so sweet. As if I should not allow him to go. The testimony is so sweet. Is it not sweet? Just the word of our pastor came and he said, you that you are outside employment, I give you one week. You will get employed. And he just said, amen, just like that. And then he said, no, it will not happen because I'm not going to apply. And I'm sure the word of God was just smiling. Amen? Amen. And by the time the word of God came, the phone started ringing. And he had to tell them, I'm no longer doing full time. Oh, you people should stay on your own. I stay on my own. They say, yes, we beg you. Please come and do freelancing. That is work at, any, at your convenience. Just walk at your... Con wow! It's only God of choosing can, that can do this. It's only God of choosing that can do this. Hey! And you know what? He wanted to scare them away, so he gave them a big price. You people should pay me so, so amount that is outside of this world. And they say, okay, no problem. We'll pay you. Congratulations. You have gotten the job. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Yes, in the days of famine, thou shalt laugh. While people are crying of no job, choosing people are collecting jobs and they are doing it at their convenience. You know why God gave him the job? Because he said he wants to have space to serve God. He wants to have time to pray. He wants to have time to attend Thursday service. And God said, that is my heart desire. That is my son. That is what I'm looking for. Oh yeah, get the job. Get the money. Do at your own convenience. And enjoy me. Let's clap our hands unto God of the choosing. Thank you, Father. The next testifier. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Justina Julius. I live at Ijesha. And I just chose in 2006. I thank God for my genuine salvation. Thank you, Father. My testimony goes like this. First, I am thanking God for his guidance and protection, for his caring and favor for me and my husband, so keeping us alive throughout you know, to this time. I thank God for it. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, our pastor always uh, mention favor, favor, favor. A favor yes. we follow you people, favor we follow my children. So after he's praying, after his, his favor, somebody favored me 60,000. Uh, Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. So I prayed for my pastor that no weapon form and fashion and guessing shall prosper. Amen. My pastor is a covenant child, and anybody that speaks against him, death is his portion. That's right. My pastor is a covenant child. He's a covenant child. If he speaks against him, death is your portion. Our mom is a covenant child. He's a covenant child. If you speak against her, that is your portion. Amen. We praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray for choosing worldwide heaven at last. And I am my family heaven at last. Amen. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Favor. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Choosing praise the Lord. 
My name is Silas Emmanuel. I want to thank God for making me a choosing. Thank you, Father. I want to thank God for saving me for a spirit of masturbation, drink, life of drinkiness. I thank God for saving me, for bringing me out of that. Thank you, Lord. And I want to thank God for making me among the people that went to go and baptize. And now I'm preaching the word of God anywhere I go. Shall we clap unto God and appreciate him? So I want to appreciate this God and glorify his name. For our daddy in the Lord, I wish him heaven at last in the name of Jesus. No Amen. weapon fashioned against him shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Any power down to rise against him, any evil will destroy the power with Holy Ghost fire in Jesus' name. Amen. All the old choosing pastors all over the world, like father, like son, they will move higher in the name of Jesus. Amen. All the choosing members all over the world, God will guide and protect them in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That is to say now you are a born again child of God. Sir. Yes, sir. You are a choosing now. Yes, sir. No more masturbation. Yes, sir. And no more vices. Yes, sir. All those evil habits have stopped. Yes, sir. Since you came to choosing. Yes, sir. Shall we clap unto God and appreciate him? The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Victoria Adebile, residing at Apapa Lagos. I thank God that I may choose him. Thank you, Father. I want to thank God for the financial favor granted unto me. So I was favored with 5,000 naira. Thank and you, Lord. By that, by that, I'm able to redeem my pledge. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Another testimony is that I thank God for a divine healing granted unto me. It happened that I fell down and I was having pain in my chest, my back, my hand. So I went to church, pastor prayed for us, and after that, I had an encounter with the angel of my pastor. He, he I done operation on me and when I woke up I was totally healed. Wow. Let's clap on to God and appreciate him. So to God who has done this, may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for our pastor, our Jew, all the chosen pastors, our Jews family, all the chosen worldwide, ever at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's clap on to God and appreciate him. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Bra Moses Udego. I live at uh, Ikate Legoshi, Lekki. I joined the choosing the year 2004. I want to thank God for making me a choosing. Thank you, Father. Um, I want to thank God for saving me from the hands of robbers it happened the last combined service after church i decided to go back home that was around past eight so i ordered my ride and when the driver came he asked me which way are we going to use i told him let's use orelli because it's closer to the island so uh, i've packed my bag but i don't know why the spirit of god my apron was already packed in my bag but the spirit of god just told me to put on my apron so I just wore my apron. Then we started the journey, getting to my two. And normally weekend, that place is always free. So getting there and seeing traffic, I was like, what's going on? So we're like, okay, maybe it's going to move. So 15, 30 minutes, we're there, stopped there. And the next thing, the driver started murmuring. Started like, this thing, something is bad is going to happen. Something bad is going to happen. I was like, nothing is going to happen. So going to one hour, we have been there. And as he was saying it, I was just praying that I'll be fine. The next minute, he just told me that they are robbing. I have been hearing testimonies about how armed robbers always attack choosing people and God saved their life. I said, oh God, it's time for you to come and prove your power. Yes. 
So uh, when he told me, I was a bit tensed because I've never witnessed it before, and I was a bit scared. So I just put my head down, then I was declaring who I am. So according to the driver, he said they were robbing from cars to cars. So he got to the car before my car. I actually witnessed it. I saw the two men, one with a gun and the other one with the knife. And I saw how they broke the glass of the car in front and took their phone. They almost shot the, the driver. I was a bit, I was, the man was scared. The driver I was like, don't worry, I'm choosing. Everything will be fine. But in my heart, I was scared. <laughs> so, like, I, was, I just told him that if they come, just wind down so that they don't break your glass. And I told him if they will come to my side, I'll wind down, I'll declare who I am. So, <laughs> Chusey, do you know what happened? <laughs> yes, we are listening. So, me that was waiting for them to come, and when they come, I'm just going to declare who I am. But God of choosing made our car invisible. Amen. That was the miracle. So, they didn't, they didn't come there, it was it just passed. And it, this was like around past nine in the night. There was no way. Everywhere was blocked. So they passed our car and... Oh, it was dark. Yes, it was around past night. In the, it was like so past nine. So it's not as if they saw the apron through the glass. They didn't see any apron through the glass. Nothing. It was like around past nine in wow. the evening. So I was just like, God. They passed us and I was still tensed. I was still looking down. And after they passed our car, the driver said... They went to the next car and they kept robbing. So that is the way I'm just like God of choosing. God of choosing has done it again. Let's clap our hands unto God of the chosen. And I just made a short prayer. Like during the time that uh, they were coming close, I, just, I was just declaring who I am. Like I'm a choosing, I'm a choosing, I'm a choosing. Mm. And I was like, God, please. This is time to prove your power. So I, I mean, thank God for that miracle, for saving me. Because after like a few minutes, we were still there for like another 20 minutes. There was no movement. And the Uber guy decided to come out. But me, I was inside the car. I said, I'm not going anywhere. And he said, everybody that was moving around, he said they were all robbed. They took one thing or the other. They broke their car and everything. I said, you see, I'm a choosing. Your car is saved. Nothing happened to you. They didn't take your phone. So I just want to give God all the glory. Let's I clap thank unto God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. So it happened that after that, we, there was no road. We just had to face Badagri. We didn't know where we were going. I just said, God, please make a way for us to get back to Lagos. So we just came out. We used one way. And to glory of God, we entered Lagos back. And that's the way God brought me back home safely. So I thank God for this miracle. I really appreciate him. May his name be highly exalted forever in Jesus' name. Amen. So my second testimony is that... Let's clap unto God and appreciate him for that miraculous deliverance. My second testimony is that uh, uh, while I was coming down to church this morning, my mom called me that... Uh, my sister is in the theater room. So I just said that it's well, that she's choosing that nothing is going to happen. Your sister is where? She was in the theater room, like she was about oh, to give theater it. room? Yes. So getting to church, as I just got down from the car, I, I just got the message, the good news that she gave birth to a bouncy baby boy. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. So I just want to thank God of choosing that today I'm, in, I'm a uncle <laughs> and uh, I really appreciate him for everything he has been doing in my life, in my family. And before I pray for my duo, I just want to use this opportunity to please tell our parents and guidance that they have their children in the university or one institution or the other. They should please advise their children to join the campus fellowship. They should please advise them and their life will never remain the same in Jesus' name. Amen. So I pray for my duo and his entire family, heaven at last. I pray for the choosing worldwide. I am my family, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's clap our hands unto God of the choosing. Thank you, Father. You have had the advice already. No need to start repeating it. The next testifier. 
Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Shuku Victor Neme. I reside at number one, Johnny J. Close, College Estate, Okota. I want to thank the Lord for making me a choosing. Like the Bible says, it says that greater is it that is in me than it that is in the world. The Bible also said that I have no greater joy than to hear that our children are walking in truth. And the Bible also says in the book of Romans chapter 5 verse 7, if I begin to quote the Bible, I don't think I'm going to live here. And I've been instructed that I should keep in line to what I've said over there. Because I'm full of joy. I'm, I, in fact, I feel like shedding tears of joy. It was last two weeks here on the program titled, Teamed. That fear must die. So daddy was like praying. He asked, uh, he asked us to pray for, no, before he asked us to pray for activities, he was praying. And then I, was, I placed my hands on my head and I was like, God, please, daddy should measure my case. Because I've heard people sharing testimony that if daddy should measure your case, that that problem is solved and is over. And then daddy just mentioned all of a sudden that that mental illness, that, that brother with mental illness, that that mental illness is over. Suddenly something just left my head immediately. Hey, hey, hey. Clap your hands on the God of the choosing. Thank you, Father. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I walked out. So I came. And seriously, I can't actually, I can't, I can't thank God enough. If all my body is full of mouth, it's not enough to give God glory. The Bible says, if the Lord should count iniquity, who shall stand? Nobody. So this, this, this case made me to drop out of school 2018. Uh -huh. November 1, I'm supposed to be, be a copper now, serving right now, but I'm a dropout. But due to my, due to the, due to my dad's rep and every other thing, I'm working due to his good, his good, his good lifestyle while he was still alive. And this also, I can't, I've been asked not to talk much, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep in line to my testimony. And I want to thank my mom, my siblings, my lovely siblings, my lovely mom, because they've been there for me. I can't actually mention it all, and then all, all everybody that have uh, always been there for me one way or the other, and the people that actually see like an enemy, like, like Pharaoh, but they are my Moses, they are my Aaron, they are my prophets, and I want to really appreciate you all. I say as this sun is covering us and is yellow, and as the sign is also, I'm under, under, you're, I'm under the canopy of this voice. I want to say, may the good Lord bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to tell my mom, I love you, my lovely sis. Mercy, Ada, Kosiso, I love you. My siblings, Sunday Miracle, I love you. I'm going to pray for our pastor. And then I want to, my prayer goes specially to my pastor. Daddy, I can't pray for you enough. I don't know what to say because I'm short of words. I, I don't know what to say, but I want, one thing I want to say is God will continue to favor you. Amen. The Lord will continue to bless you. Amen. No weapon that is formed or fashioned against you shall ever prosper. Amen. Like the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 43, when you walk through the fire, you shall not be born. The water shall not swallow you. No evil shall befall you. Because the promise that of God that has been going through you on your life, the Bible says, let no man trouble you for you, be, for you bear in your body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that promise also has been following your children. And you have been saying it like all the choosing worldwide, nationwide, worldwide, in Australia, in Canada, in U.S., in everywhere, that the goodness and the mercies of the Lord will continue to follow you. Amen. I say the goodness and the mercies of the Lord will not depart from your family. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Let's clap unto God and appreciate Him. If you are just coming in or you are already seated, you have testimonies of what God has done. We would like you to come forward and share your testimony. Come quickly to my left hand side by the pulpit area. Meet testimony interviewers. Even if you have shared the testimony long time ago, we would like to you. We'd like you to refresh our memory by sharing it again so that others will be carried along. The next testifier. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Chosen praise the living God. Hallelujah. I'm not even hearing voices. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we need to we men have to conquer now. Lord and worthy 
to be praised. They will all not worthy to be praised. They will all not worthy to be praised. They will all not worthy to be praised. Amen. My name is Sister Victory Joseph. I reside at number 12 of Echuku, Bokono Estate. My testimony goes like this, and that was on Pharaoh Must Die service on Thursday, two weeks ago. And on that day, my husband, after watching, after, after the service, he sowed a seed. And that same Thursday, his uncle fell and died just like that there was no problem he just came in and just died he wondered he said he called me and said could this be his pharaoh and this was the person that threw his things out when he was living with him and said he because he, he started you know okay they aren't hearing me wait it looks as if they are not hearing you um please on the women's side if you are hearing me can you wave your hand if you are hearing me, can you wave your hand? Oh, I cannot even see their hands at all. What about the main hall in front of the pulpit? If you are hearing me, only the men's side are hearing me. What about the men's side? Okay, the men's side are hearing me. Please, technical people, check the women's side plus the main hall. The women's side, they are not hearing what we are saying. Please kindly help them. It is well. Obina Tamu to Obina Tamu to Jesus Batara Namba Rezibe So on that Thursday he said he saw the seed and then in the evening he was called that his uncle does die. On that day of Pharaoh, that Mazda. same day, that same day, Just that same two day. days ago, now we ended service maybe after one by four o'clock. It happened, power, and there was nothing wrong with him, he was just healthy and he just fell like that. And that was the end of it. And this Mazda. was the person, and this was the person that he became a chosen. The man threw his things out and said, You cannot be in my house and do this chosen thing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, and I said, God, my own Pharaoh, my own Pharaoh, uncle, because me, I have heavy Pharaoh. <laughs> so, on Sunday, I was in service. Suddenly, in a trance, a lion appeared to me. <clears throat> and when the lion appeared, he said, I'm going in for a battle, you will hear a news. Uh. Then I said, okay, because it has happened before. On that same Sunday, my own fellow fell. You don't mean it. Ah. Hey, hey, hey. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Oh. That fellow must die. So on Thursday, they came for a battle because they had traced it that this should be from chosen. So three of us that are in chosen, me, my cousin, and my sister, they came for battle. So as I was on Thursday night, because for some time I, will, I just find out that I go to bed very late in studying my Bible and praying. So that was around 3 a.m. As I was studying the Word of God, I started hearing, oh, you know, oh now, yes. oh, the thing was crying, crying. I said, you know, it's not in an estate. What is it coming to do there? It's strange. And I was hearing voices of men. So I... I didn't want, I knew it was, uh, it was strange. So I didn't want to go to, through the window to, watch, to see what was going on. So rather, as I was praying, the, Lord, the Spirit of God said, shout the blood of Jesus 21 times. And as I screamed the blood of Jesus 21 times, they all stopped. Hmm. Then I was still hearing voices of men. He said, repeat it. And I repeated 21 times the blood of Jesus. The voices stopped. Then on Friday, I heard there's going to be danger. I said, okay, let me invite my sister to come and stay with me. 
so that perhaps we pray throughout the night. But when I called my sister, I didn't know she had also had a revelation that she should not go anywhere. Even if, he said, she said, they told her, even if it's your mother that invited you, don't go. So when I now told her to come, she said, no, she can't come. So I said, God, so what are we going to do? He said that the Spirit of God said, don't even sleep in this house and don't even stay in this environment. Go to church. Go to church. And thank God it was Friday vigil. So, and that Friday, honestly, I was highly stressed up because of the work I did that day. So, naturally, there's no way I could move. But because of the, you know, the voice I had that you will not sleep in this house, there's danger. So, I left that night for vigil. And I came here. So, I didn't know what went through. Then, my sister told me that in her dream, they came and said, since they didn't get me, where is that? I started calling her name with guns. And the Lord just, you know, escaped her. My sister, they also came to her dream. I also wanted to attack her. They escaped her. So they traced it to be from here, you know, because that my cousin was in three occults, you know, Oboni, whatever, whatever. So he became his diagram master. You understand? So for them, how can he just die like that? He just fell and died. So they traced it. And so they were trying to attack. But on Saturday, the Lord told me the battle is over. I should not bother myself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So God don't choose him. Baba. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Oh. This is confirming the word of our pastor. In fact, that, there's something that he said that day. That he said at the time when the thing was, you know, overwhelmed him. He made a statement. He said, if that fellow didn't die three days, you know that is not this prayer. So it was on Sunday was the third day. And that man had to fail. In fact, it's, I, I'm hearing some people say, ah, this program, they want it to be repeated again. I say, <laughs> ah, we have, we, have, we have escaped already. So, chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is here. In yes. any, that's why I say, in fact, I don't know, but the truth is that in any program, we need to be involved because you don't know your day of visitation. Yes. Perhaps I wasn't here. My father would have still be tormenting me and tormenting everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So in every program, you will have to be here. So I want to use this opportunity to, in fact, my daddy is blessed. Amen. My daddy is blessed. Amen. My daddy is blessed forever. Amen. Mommy is blessed. Amen. Our mommy is blessed. Amen. And she is blessed forever. Amen. And I wish them and I pray for them heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. All the children, grandchildren, in-laws, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. And for you and I, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's clap on to God and appreciate him. Love unto God of the chosen. Are you there? You have testimonies. Rise up quickly. Come to my left hand side by the pulpit area. May the testimony interview us so you can have an opportunity to share your testimony. The next testify. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Ifoma Okafo. I live at number one Shonde Street, Ikatesuru Lere. I joined Choosing 2004. I am a Choosing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happens that my mother-in-law died and we are about to go for the burial. And two of my sister-in-law called me and said, have you prayed? I said, yes. He said, you have to pray and fortify yourself, oh. That one of their brothers is raging. He said he has cooked himself, is above human destruction. I now said, if he is above human destruction, that he's not above God's destruction that we are going to meet. So I continue. So, one of the occasions before the travel, two weeks to the travel, I was here in a Thursday program. And the man of God mentioned and said, there is somebody here you want to travel. That there is a battle in the village. And this battle you cannot fight it. I am sending the angel to you. The angel of the God of choosing. To go before you yes. and fight this battle. I had it. So I said that is my testimony. And I thank God. After everything. But before then I was in this altar. 
I told the God of choosing, I said, if you take me to the village and bring my family back without any problem, I will come and thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the day, the day came, we all traveled. When we got there, you really, really know that there's a battle. But thank God for God of choosing. I was there before my husband. So the man was wanting one occasion for us to fight. No, no, no. I didn't say that. I said, God of choosing, take control. So after everything, it was on Sunday. The man came and said, give me food. I said, ah, if I give you food, will you eat? He said, yes. I said, okay. I now gave him food. He eat. After eating, he returned the plate. I said, I am happy now. So I thank God for God of choosing taking over. Because with the battle, I cannot fight it. But God of choosing took over and fight the battle for me. And I want to give the glory to God of choosing alone and alone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want to pray for my pastor. Because without my pastor, I think a lot of things could have gone wrong. But because the God of mercy decided to remember this generation with my pastor, I pray that the power of God will never depart from his life. Amen. And my prayer for my pastor, anywhere they are ganging up, men or women, ganging up, I pray that horicon wind will carry them away in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for horicon fire to consume all of them in the name of Jesus. Amen. And my prayer is that God, who has gathered us here, he will continue to keep us Amen. till the end time. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have a little token as I praise God. I promise God. And I'm here with it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's clap on to God and appreciate him. For confirming the word of his servant. Instead of fight. It was now harmony. Because God intervened in the matter. Let's clap on to God again and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. The next testifier. Chosen people, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. My name is D.K. Georgina. I reside at Yanejivo, at Royal Estate. I joined to choose in 2006. I thank God for making me and my family choosing. Thank you, Father. Choosing my testimony goes like this. During the corona, coronavirus period, we went out for a morning cry. So as our leader was posting us, the place that he posted us, somebody was there. And we, me, me and my... Uh, uh, fellow evangelists we go to another place to preach as i am preaching one woman was crying this morning shouting that her daughter has died as she was shouting many of them the Yorubas, all of them are shouting and crying i left the preaching with my my fellow person evangelists we go there after we are there they were praying and shouting as we pray i say no i tell all of them to stop because i may choose and i say you should you people should stop let me pray for her then I, uh, first of all, declare myself a choosing. And you know that the word of God says, before you enter inside the strong man's house, you first of all ban the spirit. I first of all ban the spirit of death and ban the spirit that will hinder the deliverance of the girl. Then I declare life upon the girl. After declaring life, the, boy, the girl begins to breathe. I declare strength upon her and he got herself. And all of them begin to shout and praising God and thank us. Shall we clap unto God of the chosen? Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. So we went back where we are uh, preaching. I continued the preaching. Then the Father came and came to thank us and said, He began to thank us for liberating her daughter from that death. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My another testimony goes like this. During that test, uh, a coronavirus period, I was sick, and God of choosing blessed me with 120,000. Shall he we clap unto God and appreciate Him? He blessed me with with C class, 
Mercedes Benz, 300 formatic, formatic. Shall we clap on the God and appreciate him? Thank you, Father. He blessed me with, I was living at a bedroom flat here. He blessed me with two bedroom flat at Royal Estate and gave me one big phone. Choose him, praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. During that coronavirus period, somebody informed my brother that was living at Portacos that we would sow some seed, that he heard that a prominent person will die in my family. And I have a, my senior brother that is a medical doctor in America and my junior sister that is a, a registered nurse in America. So the, the person said that we should do something for God to wave away the dead. That my brother who was working at Shell, he go and build a chapel at their church at Neka Porta Court. Then the sister, my sister go and so see that their church at Catholic church at village. I have to go and withdraw 50000 from my account and pay it for choosing, choosing accounts so that God of choosing will wave away the debt. Suddenly, this coronavirus come and hit the people in America. He killed some of their friends, even their neighbors, but he didn't touch my senior brother. He didn't touch my, my sister. Both of them are nurses. Nurses hey. and doctors. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Yes, that seed is very important. So, uh, uh, when we went to eat that talk, we said, I keep my handset where I, I used to keep it. You know that I am a marketer. marketer. So, because of my, my family, I don't do this choosing and left all that thing. Say that I just, I don't, I make sure that I've been in everything. So, I went to that eat that talk, we said, I keep my bag and my handset there. I don't know, they say my, junior, my sister, my sister's son, who was living at South Africa, he was in the dream and he saw me in a casket. That is in a coffin. That when my, my, one of my hands was out, my, that my senior sister was crying and shouting some, for people to come and help him. Then my sister that was living at uh, America, he said that he saw me in the dream where, where I was vomiting and crying my stomach. He asked my sister, said that they should be looking for me. Then I went by a naval dream for me. Then they, said, they tell her mother, the mother said that I should come home. I come home, my senior brother come and read everything. That this, my brother, my sister said that she should took me to where they will do scan on me. To look what is, I was praying with that, my prayer request and the money that I vowed that I will give. I was praying because of that, my head. So after on Monday, I go and withdraw 100,000 and pay to my excusing account. Then yesterday, and that is mentioned that this. Before then, I was in a dream. Somebody comes using an account. Then yesterday, and that is mentioned that this. Before then, I was in a dream. Somebody come and tell me, you know you have a short life. I wake up. I say, a woman comes and tell me that I say, quick short life. I begin to cancel it. Then that day, when we saw the seed here, yeah, that I mentioned that short life. Say, through the seed, that God has shot out the short life for somebody here. Yeah. Then, yes, on Tuesday, we went to Tuesday Revival Service. Daddy came after they put some message. Daddy came and said that message is not the separate message they are supposed to put. That God has something to, that is a strong message that God said that she should will preach. Then God, Daddy began to preach and begin to mention say, that is a person that they, one but a person that they say that they see in a, a casket. That God of choosing will deliver that person. Yes. It's the first thing. Then after he said, during the prayer again, he mentioned it again and anointing carried me up, up, up there and people, they rushed me. I was shouting, God of choosing, thank you because I know that you have delivered me. And you know that you serve that Jesus has set free. I am free indeed. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am free indeed. All the pains on my body, all of them have vanished. Everything Amen. that is troubling my body everywhere that I look like a person that they banned, I'm, I'm well now, I'm, I'm strong. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I praise, I thank God for my daddy, Jehovah, whom God is using to deliver us and give, bring us to his kingdom. I thank God for the matchless anointing, matchless power unto him. I pray for God. I thank God for the wife that he has given to him, that is our mommy. I thank God for the good children that he gave to him. I thank him for making him our own daddy. That is, I call him daddy, one Jesus. 
I praise God for him and for his family. And I wish all the chosen members heaven at last in Jesus. Yeah. It's, a, it's a powerful service. You need to be in the Tuesday service, 8 a.m. You will be happy that you came. In fact, Daddy said, this service is because of somebody. How many of you had it? Uh -huh. I'm not the only one that had it. He said it's because of somebody. And you can see the confirmation of that word. It was that Tuesday that the yoke was broken. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Amen. After this testifier, we take our first offering in the service this morning. The next testifier. The testifier microphone. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you come, God, no you God of choosing, he to choosing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Kim Jika Uzogu. I reside at 27 Sadiku. And I want to thank God of choosing. I joined choosing 2004, precisely December during the months of deliverance and dominion. I want to thank God of choosing for all he has done for me and my family. I was one that testified of uh, how my half brother took my five brothers with my father to a shrine called uh, Alubaga. And uh, when he took my brother to that place, they called me and said, Sister CEO, and I, I started presenting it to God of Choosing. The week that they will go to that place, on Friday, was the day they supposed to go there. On Thursday like this, in the service, G.O. mentioned the case. And he said, he said, there is a, 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 a family that they presented to a shrine. But I command that shrine to catch fire. You just said it like that. And even before you said, I command this shrine to catch fire. We said, Amen. And we left. So on Thursday evening, the shrine, the chief priest presiding over that shrine died. He died on that Thursday evening. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Choosing praise the Lord. So, my brothers, they went there on Friday, and they got there, they said, uh, both with my half brother, they packed their cars, and when they came down, they said, uh, the chief, they're sorry, oh, that they, should, they want to inform them that the chief priest died yesterday night, that they should go, that the, until when they bring another person that will preside over the shrine, they will call them back to come and till today. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's how God of choosing averted it. Choosing praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So last two weeks, Gio said, two, I think three weeks, he now said to us that after preaching, he said, we are going to have a program, another topic that we have treated that topic, but he's going to bring it back again. Seems that Pharaoh must die. I said, Church, God of choosing. In fact, this time, he will not escape. So, on Monday, I packaged myself to this place for evangelism. I said, God of choosing, I must go to this um, uh, publicity, publicity for this program. They carry us to uh, arena. I was shouting like a mad woman in an arena. They were asking me, what is happening? I said, Pharaoh must die. 
come and see that how that fellow will die. I was shining. They say they don't make noise. I said, leave me alone. I want to make noise. I shared my in fact, I sell all my hand being finished. I came back. I said, God of choosing. Hmm. This fellow must go. It is time. Don't give him bread. You have been doing it. You have been, in fact, you, I want him to go. This is the last time. So when I was praying, telling God of choosing, vigil in the midnight, I was praying, talking to God of choosing. On Thursday, Gio mentioned the case. Gio said there is a family here. An occult man stand as a god. I give him three days. If he did not come down and repent, there will be trouble. Yes, I had it. Hey, I said, God of choosing. No. <laughs> I jumped where I was standing. I said, It's my case. Yes. On Thursday, we left. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That my brother left the earth. He died like, Oh, you will not understand. That half brother. It's my half, it's my, it's my boy, my father's son. Is it the half brother that took your five brothers to shine? See, that's right. And when my father died, this my brother, he, you know, he, he punished my brothers and said, my own blood brothers. He said he will not share the, the, the houses. He will not share anything. That my brothers will see me. I said, oh, I am a choosing. They will not see me. I presented it to God of choosing. One midnight, God of choosing came and told me that my brother has taken over my father's property. I said, go and collect it. And he shared it. He still suspended that after sharing it, he will not give it to them. I said, God of choosing. Because he did this, he will not smell any one of the properties. After um, Mbidi said, I fasted for four days during that Mbidi. I said, God of choosing, you must do something. He, in my dream, God of choosing came and gave me the key of my father's house in my hands. Covered it and said, take the key of your father's house. Power. I collected it and said, I claim it. I woke up. And he left the earth. So, God of choosing is so great. He's so great. He is a powerful God. If you, maybe you're here, you're saying, when will it be my turn? Maybe he, maybe he, he cannot do it now. Or maybe he will, in fact, let me go out there. Like, wait upon the Lord God of choosing. This terrorist I'm talking about is a complete terrorist. He stopped all the people that are paying house rent so that my mother will not eat. Except where we are living, go, go, go. And everybody has gone out. Nobody in there. I told my mother, in, um, put people in that family, in that um, houses, be collecting rent for, from them. He said no. We said no. That, that since my mother is still alive, he, she must be eating from that uh, house. That was how my mother started, you know. And we keep up, up bringing for my mother. For, for, her, for him to bring her money, for my mother to be, to be buying things for my mother. He said no, he will not do it. But by God's grace, we were using that one too until he left the earth. God is just a terrorist, but God of choosing decided to take him away so that we will have peace in that family. Amen. He has never given anybody, it, it, no matter who you are, he will tell you you're nothing. Even he extended it to my, my other cousins that nobody will break. All of us are graduates, but nobody. Nobody, if he say, if he says, say, look at you. He will not allow you to breathe. The lawyers, the doctors in my family said, come and see, let me see how you're going to do that, your lawyer. And they are all sitting down, I'm telling you the truth. Yeah. But this God of choosing remembered us. Hey. He remembered us. Do the Pharaoh must die. That program was for me. I don't know for you, but you see, hey. when the thing came, I said, God of choosing. I saw seed. I said, I must participate. God of choosing must do something in this program and God did it for me he did it yes and this is how this pharaoh was uprooted coupled with one man in my family in, not in my family but in my kindred if my father buy land in the village my father will always tell that man please help us check this one do this one the man now conspired and followed down my half brother two of them left the earth this one died today the other one the next day yes that is the wonders of the God of choosing. God of choosing he Baba. can do all things. He's a dependable reality. If you think you're here, you're saying he cannot, he's a lie. He has done it for me. Two of them are sitting down. We are going to bury them very soon. Yes. So if you're here, you're believing God of choosing, please wait upon him. He will do it for you. Amen. He will do more than required, sir. Amen. So I want to use this avenue to pray for my, my GO. 
my father, who has been doing all these miracle signs and wonders. Father, my joy is blessed already, but bless him the more. Amen. Bless the wife. Amen. Bless the children. Amen. Bless the grandchildren. Amen. Father, they, should, they shall live to fulfill their age. They will live to, be, to reap what they have sowed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All the children worldwide. I wish all of us heaven at last. Amen. I wish my family heaven at last. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing praise God. That is to say that this is your testimony now. It's just the beginning of series of chapters of testimonies. Yes, so All those doctors and lawyers and all those people that are supposed to be making it, the Pharaoh is now dead. Amen. Amen. And all of them will blossom now. Explosion. Very Shall soon. we begin I to clap unto God of the chosen? Let's clap our hands unto God of the chosen.